On November 22nd, 2013, I sent a fateful email to longtime Adobe employee David Simons, one of the founding creators of the popular motion graphics tool After Effects, who is now working with a new team on a new animation product codenamed Beaker. At the time, I was working on a different team inside Adobe, but I was beta testing Beaker. And they had asked us to send them characters to test the new technology with. And so I sent this email with a simple character I cobbled together during a break and called the attachment Red Monster. Now, I'll be honest, had I known what was about to happen next, I probably would have spent a little more time making him look a bit more polished. Well, the team immediately latched onto him. Quality engineer Dan Ramirez gave him a nose, and then he started popping up in demos. He was a simple, goofy character who was essentially one big face, which evidently showcased character animator's face tracking well. And because of that, he slowly became character animator's mascot. Roughly a year later, at the Adobe Max conference in October 2014, Former Adobe designer Josh Ulm demoed in front of Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella and Adobe CEO Shantanu Narayan and introduced Red Monster, or should I say Mr. Squiggles, to the world. Character. This guy's Mr. Squiggles. Now, right by turning on the camera, Animal has recognized my face. I've done no setup. Animal just knows what a face looks like, and he's going to follow me around and... <laughs> He's fun, but we're actually analyzing my speech and we're getting the vowels. I can do a ooh or an e, and we're gonna get that in there. So I can read my script, he'll speak alongside of it, and I can record this whole thing and use it for something else later. I think that's really pretty cool. What do you think? Shortly after that, a design position opened up and I was lucky enough to officially join the character animator team. And that meant more and more appearances from Red Monster. T-shirts, pillows, temporary tattoos, socks, even a cookie mold. Thank you 3D printing nerd Joel Telling for that one. Red Monster became included as an example file in the app itself, which meant a lot of you started making videos with him too. The dance moves are real. Look at this. The dance moves are real. Eventually, I took the time to streamline the original character design, which is essentially the same Red Monster you see today. Now, that guy with the red monster tattoo is David Arbor, a Washington DC based designer and animator who I became fast friends with through various Adobe conferences and whatnot. When some people online were wondering what red monster looked like from the back, David stepped in and made this quick 3D render that revealed, well, a red tail and backside. That's uh, non-canonical by the way. But recently David got to work with us and update his 3D red monster using Cinema 4D. He updated the general form factor added some props, threw in a multi-layered mouth file as a material, rendered out individual parts and shadows, and composited and organized them all in Photoshop. So I'm incredibly happy to share Red Monster 3D with you today as a free downloadable puppet to use however you want in your own creations and stories. He's an incredibly versatile character with several different views, a ton of great props to play around with, and a well-stocked controls panel. It's been pretty awesome to see this little guy evolve over time, and I hope you enjoy checking him out and giving him some new adventures. If you do, please share them using hashtag character animator so the team can find them and watch them. Thanks for the memories so far, Red Monster, and I'm looking forward to many more in the years to come.